how are you everyone today we discuss uh, today we start the new chapter the new topic that is uh, chemical changes and reactions so we know that uh, so you know what is the matter so the matter means which occupies uh, some mass and space which occupies some mass and space is called matter okay and we also observe there is a lot of changes takes place in matter so by changing its conditions for example if you take water okay at no at room temperature water h2o present in the form of liquid if you decrease its temperature by freezing it that is by by decreasing its temperature to 0 degree celsius it becomes a ice means become solid state okay means uh, there is a physical state of uh, water the physical state of h2o uh at normal temperature there was liquid in the form of water it is on decreasing temperature to 0 degree celsius or below to 0 degree celsius it becomes solid the composition is same water low uh, we read the formula h2o what is the formula of ice also h2o in the same way if that water is evaporated okay if that water is evaporated uh, just by boiling that water okay on boiling that water what happens when it reaches to 100 degree celsius when it reaches to 100 degree celsius the water becomes so water vapors so what is the formula of water vapors same h2 means that there is no change in the chemical composition so chemical composition lo there is no change there is only change in the physical change physical state changes only observed so that type of changes are called physical changes okay means solid to liquid liquid to gas or gas to liquid next to gas to solid so whatever it is so if there is only physical state changes and there is no change in the molecular composition means there is no change in its formula that is treated as a composition molecular composition and no formula okay when there is no change in the molecular composition and only change in the physical state that is called physical change okay and uh, opposite to it uh, there is uh, some chemical changes are also present so in this lesson we totally discuss we totally deals with uh, chemical changes so what is the chemical change means uh, the change in which uh, the total specific properties and the molecular composition changes the change in which the molecular composition takes place molecular composition change takes place so in the moment now water h2o na ice h2o na water vapor h2o na so that is not a chemical change okay so if uh, that composition changes means uh, one compound is converted into another compound one substance changes to other substance okay means there is compulsory formula changes so formula changes that happen due to the a new compound is formed means uh, due to that change if a new compound is formed that is called chemical change okay uh, so due to that chemical change what happens the the starting material loses its uh, total proper original properties and converted into a new compound which is having totally different properties with the original compound okay so for example i am taking calcium carbonate so on heating this calcium carbonate what happens on heating this calcium carbonate it forms a calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide so this will be treated as a perfect chemical change okay here the composition is calcium carbon oxygen or combining together but here calcium and oxygen carbon and oxygen forming two different compounds and there is no link between the calcium carbonate and calcium oxide its properties its properties are totally different its properties are also different physical state also may be different okay so for example this calcium carbonate present in solid state 
so this lime and calcium oxide it is also present in solid state but it is present in the gaseous state co2 means uh, we don't uh, give importance to the physical state we don't give importance to the change in physical state but here important thing is uh, the compound uh, this calcium carbonate compound on heating forming new products forming new compounds ikka two form ave in some of the reactions only one form over two more than one more than two whatever it is it depends on the compound okay it depends on the compound there is a formation of a different number of products are formed but the products and reactants are having total different formulas for example if you take ice ice on heating become water so water on heating becomes water vapors steam okay so water vapors so what is the formula of ice so ice formula let me just um, so it will be treated as h2 what is the formula of water same h2 what is the formula of vapors h2 here only difference is it is a solid one it is a liquid one it is a gaseous state only physical state is a difference but the chemical composition composition of this elements in that molecule is same no change so this is treated as a physical change okay so only physical change takes place out there that is called physical changes but here the total compound new compounds are formed by you uh, by the starting material and there is uh, no relation means there is no uh, similarities between the products and reactants <coughs> and there is a a lot of difference between the properties of reactants and the newly formed uh, compound they treated as products okay so this type of changes are called chemical changes okay so it is important uh, to know whether a change is a physical change or chemical change okay uh, for example what is evaporation of water so evaporation of water lo em avutundi only physical change next the freezing of water only uh, physical change uh, next uh, uh, for example dilution dilution means uh, we are adding uh, water to a substance a salt so that is also uh, physical change so sometimes the reaction takes place means uh, it is totally depends on the compound we are taking okay mana a compound this kono dan pane depend avutadi chemical change or is a physical change but uh, it's a very important thing is in that chemical change there must be energy change takes place okay chemical change avvalante compulsory there is a energy changes energy also changes for example digestion of food digestion of food uh, the food taken by is by as is totally digested totally digested by with different type of chemicals okay so in the stomach in the stomach it combines with the so many type of uh, chemicals okay finally it is totally digested form a different compounds mainly it releases carbon dioxide and also energy for our body okay how you get energy for body is so the body is also like a machine it also need the uh, fuel mana machines get la fuel also but our body could have mana body is also like a machine it also need a uh, fuel fuel means we are taking uh, that energy at, uh, in the form of food so the food creates the food releases the energy by going into different chemical reactions okay ante mana tisukuna food different chemical reactions so involve ayi dani digest cheskoni it releases energy which is required to our body means digestion of a food is a which type of reaction chemical react chemical change or physical change it is a chemical change okay so like this uh, so we need to observe uh, whether a, a change is a chemical change or physical change okay so we give some examples also first we define what is a chemical change okay
Okay, see, so the definition we can write for a chemical change that uh, so the change which alters, which alters means uh, which also makes uh, some change. The change which makes the change the specific properties of a material, nothing but a matter, by changing its uh, molecular composition. Okay, means total molecular composition is changed. Means uh, the formula of the compound is changed. So formula change means uh, the total compound is converted into another compound. Okay, that type of changes are called chemical changes. We see some general examples. Burning of wood. So what happens on burning of wood? So it totally the high amount of energy released. Yeah? And it finally... Uh, the black powder, the black ash, okay, that is coal and black ash, ash will be remained. In the same way, burning of charcoal. So, charcoal is also a best example for chemical change, okay. So, what happens on the burning of charcoal? So, the burning of charcoal also gives uh, some uh, heat. Some heat, finally, it also forms a uh, uh, black color ash. So burning of candle. So burning of candle also best example for chemical change. So here the, the it was made up of wax. Okay, wax undergoes chemical change. Like digestion of food. So just now we explained the digestion of food. Uh, so our food uh, when uh, we take the food, it undergoes many chemical reactions. Finally releases mainly carbon dioxide gas and a large amount of energy for our body like smoking of cigarette smoking of all cigarette also releases uh, uh, carbon particles okay so rusting of iron you know the rusting of iron so actually the rusting of iron no the iron reacts with uh, iron reacts with oxygen and forming uh, its oxide means uh, so iron is totally changed to a new compound Next, blood clotting. So, it is very important. Blood clotting generally, uh, we can expect uh, we can expect it is a physical change because blood clot about when it is general gum. So, so blood bleed out in the just uh, by uh, pressures per day. So, automatically it is a solid hypothesis. Okay, the blood clotting atom. So, blood clotting, uh, it appears like a physical change. But uh, there is some chemical changes are also involved. Okay? So it is a uh, different, uh, so important one. So next, baking of cake. So baking of cake means uh, you know how to uh, bake the cake. So it also involves a chemical reaction. It also releases carbon dioxide gas. Okay. Generally, the cakes are not very smooth their surface. They are having small pores on the surface. Okay. It happened due to the evaporation, nothing but due to the releasing of carbon dioxide gas. Next, formation of wine. So, the wine is formed with which uh, fruits? Generally, grapes. Okay, with grapes uh, by some uh, chemical reaction. It's called fermentation. Okay, fermentation process, they will get uh, wine. Okay, and there is some more examples are there. It's very important. Uh, uh, a given change is a physical change or a chemical change. Okay, these are some more examples uh, of uh, chemical changes. So, there is uh, curling of make. Okay, it is also a best example for chemical change. Next, uh, so burning of petrol, you know that. So drying of a paint, drying of a paint also makes some chemical changes because paint is mixture of uh, a lot of chemicals. Next, ripening of fruit. So fading color of cloth, okay, fading color of dyed cloth. Next, photosynthesis by plants. So what is meant by photosynthesis? So just like uh, the digestion of our body takes place. In the same, uh, the plants also takes uh, makes energy. Plants also makes energy with the help of uh, water and sunlight. Okay, you know that uh, the photosynthesis means uh, uh, the formation of glucose. Generally, the formation of glucose that is called energy. Okay, 
energy by using sunlight by using sunlight and uh, water okay so so butter turning rancid it is also total chemical formula changes this is called the butter turning rancid also best example for chemical change so these are just given examples so in natural examples also you must understand you must know you must observe the whether a given change is a chemical change or physical change okay now we explain uh, what happens in a chemical change okay what happens in a chemical change okay generally chemical change is obtained only by changing its energy okay but chemical change of volatile is just natural uh, it's not uh, uh, easy to observe the chemical change okay for example rusting of iron so rusting of iron is a chemical change but it not uh, that much of easy to observe it because it takes a uh, lengthy process okay iron rust of iron takes lot of time okay so generally of spot low chemical change of iron we need to supply some energy we need to apply some energy to that uh, chemical to that compound it undergoes chemical change and uh, so some compound directly undergoes chemical changes some compound directly undergoes chemical changes by reacting with uh, uh, the conditions means uh, the present uh, the air present uh, in the presence of air that is uh, some compounds uh, automatically reacts with uh, oxygen of air nitrogen of air and carbon dioxide of air okay so so automatically also there is some chemical changes takes place but in any chemical change in any chemical chain it is compulsory that uh, there is a change in in ns its energy takes place okay in any chemical change in any chemical change there is a compulsory change in, in its energy takes place so energy may be absorbed may be released but some energy changes will be takes place now we see uh, what hap with example what happens during a chemical change we take the a uh, given example that is a burning of that is burning of a sucrose the sucrose means the sugar okay the burning we take the example okay now we see uh, the what happened during a chemical change so what are the changes takes place in a chemical change by taking an example so first uh, uh, we explain a example we explain an example so after that uh, we write to the point wise characteristics of a chemical change so simply we are taking the example that is a heating of sugar Okay, and the, we are doing the chemical change in sugar. So the experiment involves so just take a simple experiment. So you have to draw the perfectly. so it is uh, fitted to this okay a test tube is fitted uh, tightly here and we are taking sugar in it and uh, we need to heat it uh, with the help of a burner okay so there is a burner is present
there is some gap is there so it is treated as a burner okay here we are taking the sugar okay sugar so this is treated as a test tube okay so this is burner okay this is the stand so now on heating what happens we observe on heating this uh, so it is perfectly it is tighted to the it is tighted with the to the stand so we are take the sugar on heating that sugar what happens so what we observe uh, uh, on heating the sugar crystals uh, here sugar in the form of crystals so after some times after some time we observe that uh, there is some fumes are from our sugar is going to heat test them on the day so at first step uh, at first uh, it forms a slow the melt out okay a sugar heat just at first uh, slowly it melts and uh, forming a brown color liquid okay it turns into brown color liquid then on further heating there is a fumes are formed okay we can absorb that fumes okay so that fumes are nothing but uh, steamy fumes means uh, so on heating what happens as so after heating after heating uh, the total sugar particles so we observe some vapors are coming out the vapors are coming out from the test tube okay so these are treated as steamy vapors Okay. Or steamy fumes. Okay, so there is uh, some water drops are also formed at uh, the inner walls of test tube. Okay, so inner walls of test tube and uh, there is a formation of some uh, droplets. Okay, water droplets. So these are. Uh, water droplets and finally we observe there is a black color residue there is a black color mass is formed at the bottom of the test tube okay a black color mass is absorbed at the bottom of the test tube so what is that it is totally black residue of carbon okay it is a black color residue of carbon residue means sir uh, the finally remained compound the final remained substance is called residue the finally remained compound is treated as a residue here what is the residue the carbon okay it's a black color residue black residue that is of made up of carbon so here so now guess sir, the heating of sugar is a chemical change or physical change the heating of sugar so at first it is converted to a brown color to slow the melt in man it slow the melt and the and a liquid lo vachindi brown color lo change ayindi but it is not treated as a so brown color liquid ga kochi aagipothe so that physical change ayindi so color change ayina so solid to liquid ayindi kabatti it may be treated as the physical change but after some time what happened so there is a lot of vapors are coming out from that uh, sugar means that, that vapors are steamy fumes and ikkada these are vapors of water water vapors form out okay? so next so kon the normal temperature degra there is some water drops are also observed so next finally a black color powder so black color powder is remained after the completion of the reaction so that black color formed there that is treated as the residue in any reaction so final ga unreacted ga migil paina so after completion of all reaction after completion of the total reaction the remained compound is treated as the residue so ikkada black color residue is formed that is made up of carbon residue means so simply we can say the heating of sugar is a chemical change so what reaction involves here so what is the formula of sugar the sugar formula is c12h22o11 it is also treated as sucrose it is also treated as sucrose okay so 
we heat it with sucrose sucrose means that but sugar exactly on heating so i am writing it as a sugar but uh, generally it is treated as a sucrose okay so what happened there is a formation of black residue that is carbon and uh, water vapor so are produced from it means uh, the elements are same carbon hydrogen oxygen here also in same elements carbon hydrogen oxygen but uh, here they are all combined together forming in the sugar but here the separate carbon separate water molecules are present and they actually get a carbon key hydrogen key oxygen key all are having links they get 12 carbons 12 hydrogen so 12 carbons 22 hydrogens 11 oxygens all are having link together so heat system in the day so all are break up okay there is a break up takes place between the bonds of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen and so after that the carbon becomes alone and the hydrogen and oxygen are combined to form a new compound water means that the composition of this sucrose these are there is no similarity that is totally different okay therefore the heating of sugar is treated as a chemical change okay now we need to balance a chemical equation so it is compulsory to balance the equation because uh, so why we balance the chemical equations why we balance the chemical equations because in a chemical reaction or in a chemical change there is a uh, no loss or gain in the number of atoms okay atoms neither created nor destroyed so number of atoms must be equal in the reactants and products here twelve carbons i did twelve we are trying to balance in heat and trial method twelve carbons how many oxy hydrogens twelve twenty two sorry twenty two let's put it eleven So eleven, twenty-two hydrogen, eleven oxygen. So it is balanced. Okay. So here also important that the the mass of sucrose, the mass of this carbon is totally different. Means uh, uh, the carbon mass is less than the mass of this carbon is less than the mass of sugar. But uh, if you add the total mass of this carbon and water, the mass is exactly equal to the mass of sucrose. For example, if you take the sugar and the risk, now we are taking the hundred grams of sugar. Hundred so grams of sugar is equal to we started the experiment. Okay, so what the reaction complete and that we got black color mass. See black color mass. Only black color carbon mass is equal to less than hundred degrees under. But uh, so water vapor should I add this amount? The water vapor should I mean gather this? The don mass should I find out this? The mass of the sum of mass of this carbon and water. Is equal to the mass of a starting material sucrose. Means during a chemical change, during a chemical change, the physical state may be changes or may not be changes. It can be so we can this could be sugar and a solid state. Okay, so it can be carbon powder solid state. It can be water in the other form in the in the form of vapors. And in the physical chemical changes, so physical change also takes place. Sometimes changes, sometimes does not changes. It depends on the material. मतलब इसको ना material based चीज को नहीं, so अरे ये physical change होता था, अब तो it depends on it. Okay, but in a chemical change, total new chemicals are formed. The mass of the starting material reactant is exactly uh, equal to the mass of the product. Means the mass of product is exactly equal to the mass of reactant. It is akin to law of conservation of mass and stuff. It is called law of conservation of mass. Mass neither created, neither destroyed during a chemical change. So that's why all the man balancing the equation also doing the for same uh, principle. Okay. So here are twelve carbons, twelve carbons, eleven oxygens, eleven oxygens, twenty-two hydrogen, twenty-two hydrogens. So same atoms will have same number of atoms will have, but all must have same uh, mass. Okay. But only carbon mass to compare this, that it is less than compared to the sugar mass. But total mass compared this, that is equal to the sucrose. That is the sugar mass. Means in a chemical reaction, uh, during the chemical reaction, there is no change in the 
mass. Okay. So, by seeing these observations, we are ready. Now, we are ready to give a, uh, understand some points about the chemical changes. Okay. Next, one more thing. Uh, during the chemical reaction, here the sugar on heating, actually sugar, uh, just the sugar absorbs some heat, then it produces a new compounds. But in some reaction, what happens? Energy releases. Energy releases. Here heat is absorbed. Okay, during the heat on uh, heat chest in a reaction in the uh, heat chest in a reaction in the it is the uh, energy absorbed process, energy absorbed process. But in some reaction, what happens and energy releases. Okay, chemical reaction at energy release out of it. Okay. Now we see all that properties uh, one by one. Okay. So these are the some observations, uh, some characteristics takes place in a, a chemical change. That is a chemical change involves uh, in the formation of at least uh, one or more new products. Okay, minimum one product is compulsory. Okay, more than one would have form out. Next, the products have different properties compared to the original substance. Okay, the starting material to compare this to the formal products are having total different. For example, just now we discussed that on heating sugar, what happened? They formed, they formed the carbon and water. I mean, there is no similarity between the glucose and carbon and water. Next, the total weight of substance taking part in a chemical reaction, chemical change remains constant. So, this is akin to law of conservation of mass. There is no change in the weight, there is no change in the mass of the compounds. Next, it is a permanent change and it is irreversible. It's very important. It is a permanent. Chemical change is a temporary or permanent. Okay? The maximum, okay? The all chemical changes are permanent. If, for example, it are heating of sugar. So, heating of sugar, what you got? You got the carbon and uh, this water. So, again, it is not possible to get the sugar from that carbon and water. A, a, a carbon and water based is going so, mali mali sugar form chain, but it is not an easy one. So, therefore, the chemical change is a permanent and irreversible. Re irreversible and so irreversible means it cannot be reversed. It cannot be reversed is called irreversible. Okay, it is a permanent change. Means chemical change is a permanent change and it is cannot be reversed. That is, it is irreversible. And uh, next thing is... Uh, During a chemical reaction, sometimes energy releases, means in the form of heat. Sometimes energy releases or sometimes energy absorbed. If energy absorbed, that is called endothermic reactions. If energy absorbed, that is called endothermic. If energy releases, that is called ex exit, means releasing out. This is called exothermic reactions. Okay, that is also the main important in a chemical reaction. So, in mass there is no change, but in, a, in energy there is some change takes place. So, they treated as, uh, so based on uh, energy changes, the reactions, the chemical reactions are two types. They are exothermic. They are exothermic reactions, okay. Uh, exothermic change. Okay, exothermic mean change means uh, so the chemical change uh, which takes place uh, So, the chemical change in which energy is absorbed are called exothermic. So, absorbed, so not absorbed. So, thus I am changing the heading. Okay. So, that is the endothermic. So, energy absorbed is called endo. Okay. 
endothermic means uh, the chemical change in which energy is absorbed are called a endothermic chemical change okay uh, if you observe the endochemical that is uh, we can write some examples so mercuric oxide okay mercuric oxide is converted to mercury and oxygen okay so it absorbs some heat okay it absorbs some heat so balance it here to make it two by two okay so what happened here the generally energy changes uh, we represent in the form of delta h here delta h is a uh, positive so how much energy it is no need to buy have it but we need to observe uh, uh, remember it is a exo or endo and delta h positive nante that is a positive symbol indicates the energy absorbed that is endothermic so next uh, even the calcium carbonate just now we discussed today calcium carbonate on heating it forms uh, calcium oxide and carbon dioxide already it is balanced so here it is also delta h is positive it also takes place just by heating only see the exothermic change now exactly opposite to it exothermic change means uh, the chemical change so in this short we are totally discussing about uh, chemical changes only the chemical change in which energy is released or called exothermic changes okay so the example is uh, we can write uh, so there is some general examples are there for example uh, nitrogen and hydrogen are combined to form ammonia to so balance it here delta h is equal to here we write the minus negative symbol so negative symbol takes uh, gives that uh, it releasing some energy okay it releasing some energy that's why it's called exothermic even uh, the burning the candle burning also burning of a candle so burning of candle also a chemical change okay even uh, digestion of food okay even respiration process okay respiration process also best example of exothermic reaction okay uh, you also try to guess sir uh, you also try to guess uh, so what are chemical changes what are physical changes you observed in your surroundings and uh, which are exothermic which are endothermic reactions which observes around you okay which takes place around you observe them okay so you must practice that examples you must know that uh, example because some examples are experimental examples so, so directly we can't see that examples okay so you need to buy some examples at least uh, uh, because some examples uh, so we know that we know easily but some examples are there they are experimental one we need to buy hard we need to remember it okay tomorrow we see some more points of the chemical changes okay